Hiya, and uh, welcome to this vlog. Um, so yeah, we finished on the Chesterfield now. So on this one, we're going uh, 13 miles downstream on the Trent, and then we're going to join the um, the Keeby and Stainthorpe Canal and head down the South Yorkshire Navigation. Yeah, so in this video, we'll be going through the uh, unique engineering feature, which is the Vaison uh, sliding rail bridge. And then on from there, we'll be going through Kroll and Godnow, um, where there's some interesting swing bridges which are combined with rail crossings and then further on there's some <laughs> some more lift bridges and swing bridges which are manually operated or uh, automated so we'll go on down through Thorn and after that we'll be going down through uh, Stainforth which is very close to the Hatfield main colliery which is one of the last coal mines to close uh, in South Yorkshire and then on to Barnby Dunn and then finally on from there we're going to Doncaster and uh, there'll be a bit of footage there of um, some features in the town and um, yeah that's about it so yeah let's crack on with it now. Right, we're stuck with waiting to go out onto the Trent. It's um, still flowing in at the minute. It's slow down the last 10 minutes and uh, in 15 minutes we should be going out. There's Mr Wobbeel just having done the just waiting for the water to just to uh, wait for the tide to change direction so we, <laughs> when we come on here 6th of January we thought it was going to be here for four to six weeks where we are now it's the uh, 2nd of April and we're just going out so we've had three months of it almost really and it's absolutely splendid I definitely recommend this canal it's peaceful and uh, there's so much to see um, beautiful scenery and spectacular flight like of logs at the end. Well, I'm doing that to go right up to Kiverton to the tunnel entrance of Norwood just to, just to experience going through those double and triple logs. So, I can get seen out there. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Trent for our next ex adventure um, heading up to Kibi. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful morning. It is beautiful. It's really nice. It's sort of the tide's just started to turn so we come out, what was it, half past ten? Yeah, we'll just gone half ten. Yeah, it's quite still now. A little bit quite fresh, but it's a uh, lovely morning though. Eh? Better yeah, than yesterday, it was snowing yesterday, so um, yeah, it's beautiful. And fingers crossed it will be. Uneventful, <laughs> which I'm sure it would be. <laughs> we don't want any more events. No, 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 no. no. We want no, no more Trent adventures <laughs> like that one. Alston Ferry tide gauge, uh, which is used to as a, a standard to gauge the height of the water. I think there's only two of these on the tidal trend. A little bit choppy just here. I think it's the wind's blowing straight out, I suppose, and uh, the water's going the opposite direction, and it's just sort of like kicking up a bit of a. Well, just a little bit. It's nothing much. Just but, uh, certainly more than it's been earlier.
Sort of sideways for a bit, didn't we? We did. Until I could get a bit of willy. I thought we were going to hit that thing at the front. I did at the front, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I wanted to do sort of. It's not really reverse actually, I thought, oh, that's going to make it worse. But, um, no, it'll find there. Yeah. Well, the waves are quite strong out there. The wind's quite blustery. Okay. And this is it, the gates are closing, and here we are. Safely in. Skippy. It's bellowing over there, isn't it? We're in the lock now, just locking up, and we didn't have any major disasters. In fact, we didn't have any disasters. We had a very slight tap. It's a little tap, yeah. Which um, came in, I think they just, just caught us as the tide was going out. But as you can see from earlier footage, the waves, well the waves, the tide is, um, yeah, makes it, it a bit more difficult to get in. To get quite close with the front to the uh, to the wall, but we just, just managed to you miss it. You recovered it. We, we recovered it. <laughs> you recovered it. <laughs> it's all playing that way. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to the lock keepers that are brilliant, they give us a very clear instructions on what to do. So yeah, here we are, heading onto the Kiwi. This swing bridge is manned by the lock keeper. Um, so it does stop traffic. Structure slides right across. 
move this back on my walkway over to over to here where it's sort of shivvy so it's got some cable which I presume drop pulls it in. So this is one of two swing bridges on this part of the waterways uh, where you've got a swing bridge which you have to put your key in to operate uh, which then allows you to shut the road barriers uh, whilst you're doing this um, a rail track operator comes out of his box and he'll shut the uh, level crossing um, of course only if there's no trains due to be arriving um, so once you've done that and you've got the um, road barriers down and um, they locate in place on electronic switches so you can't do anything until you've done that. Once you've done that you can go back to the console, press the button and the swing bridge opens and you pass through and then repeat the whole process. So yeah it's quite a unique this and uh, I think it's something to do with the closeness of the level crossing to the canal uh, which means it's not easy to automate so that's why there's uh, these, these two crossings are manned. So this one here at, at uh, Godnow and there's another one at Kroll.
this is quite a sad sight. We're just the other side of Thorn Lock, and um, this old cruiser here is, is sunk, it's sitting on the canal bed. Um, yeah, I bet it's a lovely old boat, lovely boat in its day, I imagine. But uh, yeah, it's probably hold in the hole somewhere. There's a bit of a repair being done there, which looks a little bit iffy. With a bit of plywood and some screws in it. But um, I don't even see inside there, but there's a lovely sort of ship's wheel. Iceland's not around until July, so it's obviously been kept up to date, but now it's, uh, well, it's sort of tied on here. It's got a boom around it, I suppose, because there's no oil goes in. But for shame, really. Do you want to tie up? Pardon? Do you want to tie up? Yeah, I'll put the thing on. 
Yeah. Uh, he says it's quite fierce, so I'd stay in the middle. I've got that on film. <laughs> got that on film. Oh, there is a control at that end. You didn't have to stand here. Just approaching the centre of Doncaster here now, past the college, and uh, we'll get a more up on these visitors' moorings, which are right below Doncaster Minster. Um, they're nice, secure moorings with a lock gate, for CRT visitors' moorings, and a floating pontoon. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, quite a nice place to be uh, to go and visit Doncaster, Doncaster City, as it is now. So I'm going to leave this uh, video just here at Doncaster. Uh, the following one will be travelling on from Doncaster along the South Yorkshire navigation, uh, possibly as far as Sheffield. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's always good to have support and the comments that you, you give me. Um, yeah, so please, uh, please continue to do that. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.